Hello everyone. So today we are having our next experiment that is simulation of symmetrical point of single machine connected to infinite bus. Okay. So what we are doing, we are using the MATLAB software for the simulation purpose and we are having the one infinite bus having uh, the values we are looking after us and single machine is connected. When there is a fault which has happened at the terminal of synchronous machine. We have to find out and analyze the synchronous machine behavior. The faults may be symmetrical, unsymmetrical. Uh, you can use the same uh, model for the symmetrical or unsymmetrical faults. Okay, but uh, today we are focusing only the symmetrical fault. Okay, symmetrical fault means what? Uh, three phase fault triple line fault or triple line to ground fault. Okay, so most probably we are just looking for the triple line to ground fault. Okay, so this is the uh, theoretical point of view. You know about it, why we are required the single machines. Uh, uh, we are using the single machine as the synchronous machines and why we are required to analyze the symmetrical fault. Okay, so one of the major reason is to calculate or to select the circuit breaker for the isolation purpose. We have to select the circuit breaker, so that's why they can carry and find out which of the current is overesting it. Okay, so that's why it is quite important. Next one, uh, you go through this particular theory, I know you know it. Okay, so I just shared you this file, you can just uh, find out. Okay, so main point is our case study. So we are choosing a case study of a 200 MVA simple synchronous machine and it is governed okay by using hydraulic governing system hydraulic turbine we are using and afterwards we are connected with the infinite bus so infinite bus we are having uh, here you have to change it 230 kV okay 230 kV 50 years okay I just corrected and send you the file once again okay no worry. so we have to jump directly to the to the MATLAB Okay, and find out the uh, total, total simulation. Okay, so this is a simulation model, end time model. Okay, so first of all, in this model, we are using the number of components. Okay, number of blocks. And how we are getting the blocks, already you know, we are having the block library, simulating uh, library browser. So you can just make... Uh, uh, in this case, you have to type the whatever you require and you can get this particular case. Okay, so I am just brought together entire things and uh, this is first one by one we are looking for this particular blocks. This is a synchronous machine, our main name. So, this is a fundamental synchronous machine. Okay, point fundamentals. We are having the Stalin pole type parameters you can see uh, 200 kV. 200 MV, sorry, 200 MV, 13.8 KV, okay, and 50 years uh, frequency, okay. So, by all the values, they are in uh, default value we are taking, okay. Then, uh, we are having the hydraulic governor, hydraulic turbine and governor, so, okay. So, we are not changing anything. Then, excitation system, okay, it is required to build excitation, and we have to make sure we have to find out uh, the performance, okay. And uh, this is a DMUX. We are required different different signals for the for the output, okay. So again, this output is given to the governing system and the excitation system, okay. Whatever the change in a change in a power system, the governing system will react that one. We have to change each and every parameters, okay. So you know about the governing system, and again, we have to take the uh, Output of this particular synchronous machine, you have to calculate high ABC and uh, load angle. Okay, most probably we are just uh, interested for the load angle, VF, then uh, VABC and IABC at the terminal of this particular uh, machine. Next, uh, this is a, a, it is used for the measurement purpose. Okay, it is like a, like a measurement. Okay, three phase VF measurement. Okay, so, we are having the VABC, IABC, we are using the scope. Then the transformer, step of transformer we are required. Okay, so we are having delta 1, 1. 
Okay, most probably we are using this one because we have to reduce the harmonics. Okay, so third harmonics can be eliminated. Okay, bars in these configurations and secondary winding is star and ground connected. Neutral is connected to the ground. And here three single test transformer we are using. You can use whatever you require, but this is generally we are using. And the parameter 210 kVA, uh, sorry, MVA, 50 hertz frequency, and the primary voltage is 13.8 kV, and secondary voltage is 230 kV. Okay. Other values are uh, let's say, it's a simple uh, default value. Then, three phase uh, pi model transmission line we are using. Okay, the pi model frequency with peers and length is 100 kilometer. Next one is it is used for the current measurement purpose. Okay, and this block is we have to convert this particular current. Okay, uh, to the per unit current. Okay, so we are very much interested to the per unit values. And this is the infinite bus. We are just using 230 and 30 kV and 50 hertz frequency. Okay, it's going to be constant we are giving and base voltage is 230 kV. Okay. And this is the loads, two loads we are, which is connected. One is terminal load. So, entire system, when we are talking about the synchronous machines, it is loaded. Okay, when there is a loaded, at that time we are just talking about the fault. Okay. So this is the load, okay, the voltage, nominal frequency, okay, and uh, 10 watt, okay, 10 kilowatt, there is a load, you have to change this one, okay, again, this is a 10 kilowatt load, okay, we are having RLC, so inductor capacitor 100, 100 we have to be check it out, okay, so this is all about the simulation diagram, inside this particular case, we are using the discrete mode, Okay, backward inverse loss methods, we are having the solver type. Okay. So, if I run this, if we run this, we are getting uh, to the simulation and find out the reason. So, clearly we saw that. Again, uh, one more thing is important to check it out. Three-phase fault. This is a three-phase fault and uh, it having the duration of 0.2 to 0.3 seconds. Okay, so initial position 0 means there is a no fault, but after this 0.2 there is a fault and it is covered, recovered to 0.3. Okay, so 3 phase to ground fault you can just do for the unsymmetrical fault. It is depends on you. Okay, then uh, it is already run. So I just check it out. First of all, main point is our voltage and the current. Okay, if I make sure. So, so at starting, if you see, at starting, uh, we are getting some kind of uh, we are getting all these entire things, you can see, there is some kind of uh, initial positions, this is the voltage and uh, this is a current, okay, and this is a three phase current. So, starting position it takes a normalized. So, it is having a period for the 0 to 1, okay, that is very 0 to 1 second actually. So, if, if you see the 0 to 10, 0 to 20, 30 seconds, so it will be second to the rest value, okay, steady state value. It takes time. So, this is entire section that is the starting position. At point 2, we are having the fault. Okay. So, at point 2, it is having a fault. So, this main structure, if you see, this one, voltage and the current. Voltage is going to be 0 when there is a fault. Voltage spikes to be reduced. Okay. So, it will be reduced, not to the 0 value. Okay. And the current is going to be increased. If you see the, see the values, so, it is near about 1.8 something we required, but it is going to be huge. Okay. So, it will be increased. Transition is going to be increased. Okay. And afterwards, afterwards the fault is over some kind of transient. If you see, so, some kind of transient is happened here. Okay. And the current is going to be normal. Okay. 
So that is the important thing. We have to be check it out while analyze the system. Okay, so this is one uh, one uh, case voltage and current. So afterwards, this current is not that much important, but uh, if you see, you can get the value. Okay, same case, point two point three. Some kind of spike when the fault is covered, but again we are going to be normalized. Again, uh, main function is the load and the how the it will be react. If you see, I just point out. So this is the main case. It is going to be a subtle swing, but at the time of fault, at the time of point two second, it is going to be a spike. Okay, so there is a swing. Last one, we have speed voltage. Okay, so at the at the time of point two, it will be huge increase, and afterwards you have to be increased. So governor take into action. Okay, to to check out the performance and analyze. Okay, you can do it, but whenever we are taking this one, so I just this is for the one second. Okay, you can analyze for the ten second. I just make it. Okay, it takes time to run. But basically, uh, you have to find out what is the synchronous machine is reacting when there is a different different fault. Okay, you can observe it. By the way, it is a very interesting topic to to understand as an electrical point of view. You can easily understand it why synchronous motion is reacted likewise. We can just design also in the in the uh, we can say that in the future uh, work. Okay, so we can design the synchronous machine which can. Which can handle the symmetrical fault, unsymmetrical fault. Okay, we can do that as. So it is going to be run. Yeah, correct. So I just show you as example point of view. Ah, here we are getting. So if you see, this is one. So after point eight, point nine, point one, it is going to be normal. Starting we are getting, starting we are getting, uh, as a, as a. As a wave, okay. But afterwards, we are getting as a almost is going to be very normalized study value, okay. Now my point is uh, load angle. If you see load angle, okay. Starting is going to be a pulsation, but afterwards is going to be stabilized, okay. It's going to be stabilized. If you run for the thirty thirty second onwards, you are getting more and more. Uh, a uh, stable value okay iabc is going to be same one okay so we are having the pulsations you see there is a fault you spike okay afterwards to normalize normalize current okay the main thing so this is all about this particular experiment it is very much interesting to find out different different analyze bars in the different different fault if you go this particular circuit better find out the different different faults And analyze the system. Okay, the fault is going to be a point one second only. Okay, if you are having time period duration is going to be very very high, so the effect is going to be very large one. And most important thing is what we have to isolate this particular synchronous motion when there is a fault. Okay, in actual practice. So how much the current is going to be pulsed? How much is is to be increased? So. It is a problematic for the synchronous machines, the windings. Okay, so for the protection of all the all the equipments like the synchronous machine, excavation system, hydraulic turbine, so you have to protect that one. And for that protection, we require the circuit breakers. Okay, we have to op uh, operate relays and circuit breakers. So we have to select the circuit breakers. So that's why we are doing that. Okay, so thank you, thank you for all.